Hello, my name is Eddie Tofpik. I'm Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Markets Analyst at ADM Investor Services International Limited. Here is your daily technical analysis of LME 3 Marf Copper and Aluminium. LME 3 Marf Copper, a second bullish white soldier on Friday and a follow-on higher from the previous session's bullish Harami. The key recent feature is still the break below at the start of last week under the lower bull channel line, currently at 82.09 of the broken bull channel, and that's currently between 82.09 to 93.02, which is highlighted in dark blue on my daily chart. The move below early last week looked as if it might have some legs on it until it reached the same support seen back in late November last year, in the 78.50 to 78.60 area, where it turned back up. The question now is whether the market will react the way it did back then and move up to the 85.5, 85.50 area. Because if it did, then the broken bull channel would have repaired itself, well, to some degree. Thus, it all depends now on what happens at the broken lower bull channel line. Above that, we have resistance in, well, resistances in various strata, most notably at the flatlining long moving average, currently 83.75. So far today, well, a small attempt higher, but balking at testing the overhead lower bull channel line. Support below is lightweight from the lesser Fibonacci line at 80.16. Right now we're looking like an indecisive doji cross. LME 3 month aluminium. A second bullish white soldier on Friday and a follow on higher from the previous session's bullish harami that disguised itself as an indecisive spinning top. In the bigger picture, we have a number of things going on all at the same time. There is the November 2022 to May 2023 head and shoulders top, which initially looked like a possible continuation pattern, but has seemingly turned into a topping pattern. This has a primary target X down in the 2058 zone, with a harder, much harder reach target X1 down in the 1858 zone off the bottom of my daily chart. Next are the two possible descending triangles and their relevant targets below. The first and larger one is from the late February to May action, which utilizes the neckline of the same big head and shoulders top, which is colored in purple as its base, currently 2268, and the late February to date downtrend, also colored in purple higher up, currently at 2448, to give a primary target X2 below in the 2178 zone, and a secondary target X3 down in the 2088 zone. Finally, there is the smaller, optimized descending triangle, highlighted in dark blue on my daily chart, made up from the small late March to early May head and shoulders top head neckline, currently at 2294, and the optimized late February to date downtrend, currently 2398, which is entwined with the uh, declining medium uh, moving average, currently at 2397. This had a primary target in the 2233 zone and a, and a target that's already been achieved and it's got a harder to reach secondary target X4 down in the 2174 zone. Finally, there is the late February to late April bearish Andrews pitchfork. A new pitchfork, but one that seems to be showing the bearish angle of attack quite well so far, with prices following the middle time, currently at 2203 lower. This pitchfork is highlighted in bright red on my daily chart. Well, so far today, a lower open and a move down to the middle time below. Right now, it's looking like a bearish double. Thank you for listening. This short version broadcast gives essential market patterns and consequences. Please be aware of the risk disclaimer posted both at the front and the back of this broadcast. Copyright is Eddie Tofpik and ADM Investor Services International Limited. And here comes the final important bit.